Welcome to Politics Unplugged. I'm Ann Trujillo. The race to be Colorado's next governor is getting tighter after last weekend's statewide assemblies. A few candidates have learned their names will not be on the primary ballot in June. Others are waiting to see if their ballot petitions will be certified. Here's what we know right now. We know that Mike Johnston, Kerry Kennedy, and Jared Polis will be on the Democratic primary ballot. And on the Republican side, at least Greg Lopez and Walker Stapleton's names will appear, as well as Victor Mitchell, whose ballot petition was certified late last week. Now, Colorado's race for governor is getting a lot of a national attention, and so are our congressional races, as Republicans try to hold on to majorities in both the U.S. House and Senate. And one seat being watchly close to Watchley, I should say, is Colorado's 6th Congressional District, currently being held by Republican Mike Kaufman. Now, last week, we introduced you to Jason Crow, one of the Democrats, hoping to unseat him. But to do that, Crow will first have to beat this man, Levi Tilleman, in the Democratic primary in June. And we've invited Levi Tilleman to talk with us today. And thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. And we should first start by uh, talking about your family's political background because your, let's see, your grandfather represented California in Congress for 27 years. Your grandmother, Nancy Dick, was our lieutenant governor here in Colorado. So why do you want to run for uh, this office? Why do you want well, to be involved in politics? <laughs> I was blessed to have two public servants as grandparents, and they were very unlikely public servants. My grandmother was a single mom who was raising three kids on a very limited income on the western slope. My grandfather was a Holocaust survivor who came to this country as a penniless immigrant, and they both found their way to public service. And that had a huge impact on me when I was growing up. I was raised in a working class Latino neighborhood in North Denver. And so we had our feet planted very firmly on the ground, confronting the real issues that families that live paycheck to paycheck do every single day. So I was always thinking about how we could make life better for the community that I was raised in. And we thought about that both on a community level, but also on a policy level. Well, and some would say you have an uphill battle here because uh, you took 35% of the district assembly to Jason Crow 64%. How do you overcome that? How do you read those numbers? Well, we're actually more focused on momentum. We gained eight points between county assembly and the congressional assembly, and that is just a huge gap to fill. And what that tells us is that we have the right policies, the right values, and the right message for the sixth congressional district. When Democratic voters hear about our platform, they come over to our side. And, and that says a lot about our prospects going forward. But that hasn't equated into money. Uh, Jason Crow has raised significantly more money than you have, and uh, that, that speaks volumes to some as well. It's true that if you're looking for a candidate who can raise a lot of money from corporate PACs and special interest PACs and Goldman Sachs and Washington Insiders, I'm probably not the right candidate for you. But if you want someone who will fight for the values that we represent as a community, then we're the right campaign. Uh, so Democrats are looking at the two of you at this primary. What sets you apart from him, from your competitor? Jason Crow or Mike Kaufman? Well, Jason Crow first. Well, I, I think the biggest thing is that I'm a clean energy entrepreneur who understands the economy of the 21st century. I've always been devoted to making our world a better place. And that's why I started companies in the clean energy space. I understand where the jobs are and how technology is going to change our world going forward. The transition away from fossil fuels isn't just about saving the environment and making our world a better place. It's also going to be huge in terms of jobs. And I want to make sure that those jobs are here in Colorado and in the 6th Congressional District. So how do you do that? And, and tell us more about your issues. First of all, how do you bring jobs to the 6th Congressional well, District? Well, we, we, we need to have policies that are supportive of that. And we need to invest in those sectors. So we need to make sure that we're providing ways for people to take advantage of the terrific opportunities provided by solar panels and wind energy and battery storage and electric vehicles. And every step along the way of that transition, that's jobs. Um, um, energy as a renewable energy system is going to provide so much more in terms of supporting our local economy than oil and gas does in the long term. And so that's what we're focused on. Okay. It, gun rights, I think, uh, is one of your issues that, that mm -hmm. you speak yeah. very strongly about. Absolutely. Tell us who you are, Levi Well, Tillman. we have by far the strongest platform on gun safety of any of the candidates running in the 6th Congressional District, and we focused on that platform since day one of the campaign. I spent a huge amount of time last July with the survivors of the Aurora shooting um, in, in that theater that was such a tragedy five years ago, and I did that because in order to run in this district and in order 
order to represent this district, you have to understand the tragedies that it has gone through. And so from day one, we realized that gun safety was gonna be a really important issue for this community. Uh, we have some terrific people who have stepped up to support the campaign, including Senator Rhonda Fields, who's one of the foremost gun safety advocates in the state. Um, and we're going to fight for those issues when we get to Washington, D.C. What are your other issues that you're fighting for? Uh, so we're fighting for an economy that works for everyone, and that's my number one issue. That means a $15 an hour minimum wage. That means Medicare for all. So if you get sick, you have health insurance, and you're able to get the medical care that you need. We have less than a minute left. So this sixth congressional district is pretty unique. Mike Kaufman's held this seat for, for since 2009, mm -hmm. yet it went Democrat during the last presidential elections. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of independence in the sixth congressional district. How do you appeal to all those groups? So I think there, there are two things that we're focused on. The first is the economy. I'm someone who understands the economy, and that's the number one issue for independence. And the second thing is diversity. This is the most diverse district in Colorado. I speak fluent Spanish and Chinese and three other languages. I've spent my entire life living in communities of color, and I understand these communities and can embrace them sincerely. And if we can get them over on our side, then we beat Mike Kaufman in 2018. Okay, Levi Tillman, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate Thanks so much for having spending me. Spending time with us. Okay. We'll be right back.